Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren drops out of the race for president. Once the front runner, she had a disappointing Super Tuesday finish, not winning any states and coming in third here in her uh, home state. We also want to get out to Mike LaCrosse. He is live outside of Elizabeth Warren's home in Cambridge, where there's a large scene of media growing outside as we wait to hear from her. But, Mike, this isn't a, a complete shock. Super Tuesday was very disappointing for the Warren campaign. Brianna, that's right. We're here outside of Senator Warren's home. And as you imagine, there are dozens of media outlets here from all over the country. Taking a look at a car now, uh, we're told that the senator may be leaving her home shortly. Uh, like I mentioned, there's uh, dozens of media out here literally blocking the street. So uh, we're told that this may be the senator's car uh, preparing. We're told she may be leaving her home to go visit some of her staffers before coming back here to make the official announcement that she is dropping out of the race for the White House around 1230 today. Again, here's a, a live look at the massive media that is gathered here. Some of these folks uh, from some of the national outlets have been here for a couple of days now since those disappointing results that you mentioned on Super Tuesday to see if and when Senator Warren announced that she may be getting out of the race. Of course, she came in third here in her home state of Massachusetts. We have not seen or heard from the senator since Tuesday night. She addressed her supporters in Michigan ahead of that state's primary later next week as the results came in. But again, we are still waiting to hear from Senator Warren, large media crowd outside of her home. We're told that she did make the announcement to her staffers earlier today about about an hour ago just a little bit after 11 o'clock that she told her supporters on a conference call that she was getting out of the race herself I want to go ahead and read some of that that was sent to us from her campaign staff she says I love you guys too I want to start with the news I want you all to hear it first and I want you to hear it straight from me today I'm suspending our campaign for president I know how hard all of you have worked and how I know how your families and loved ones could have spent more time with you 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 miss them and they miss you and I know you have to sacrifice to be here. So from the bottom of my heart I want to thank you for everything you have poured into this campaign. I know that when we set out this was not the call you wanted to hear. It is not the call I ever wanted to make, but I refuse to let disappointment bind me or you to what we've accomplished. We didn't reach our goal, but what we have done together, what we have what we would have done has made a lasting difference. It's not the scale of the difference we wanted to make, but it makes and the changes will have ripple effects for years to come. And of course, Senator Warren announced her bid for the White House last February in the city of Lawrence. And since then, she's toured the country. She's been known for uh, releasing plans from everything that she wanted to address with a possible win in the White House, from health care to climate change to affordable uh, college tuition for everyone in the country. She was known for talking about her wealth tax for taxing millionaires to pay for a lot of these plans. I had a chance to uh, follow the, the the senator around a lot a couple weeks ago up in New Hampshire and I could see her stump speech was changing throughout her time as the New Hampshire primary got closer and closer it became more personal for her she started using more examples from her childhood and her desire to want to be a teacher she was getting really really used to kind of trying to rev up the crown she was known for her selfie lines when we were at her campaign rally in New Hampshire a couple weeks ago, the senator came out pretty early in the night as the polls closed. She also had a disappointing in New Hampshire during that primary and addressed her supporters, telling them that she was in this for the long haul, despite those disappointing results. And she had stuck around for at least an hour to an hour and a half, taking selfies with pretty much everybody that showed up to support her during her event. And again, she had mentioned at that point that she was in this race for the long haul, but it appears we are expected to hear from the senator in a short while today that she will officially end her race for the White House. Again, here's another scene setter outside of her Cambridge home here. Small, quiet street, not used to uh, a lot of activity, and now you have dozens of media outlets from all over the country that have been gathered here for several days now, waiting for any potential update from the senator. There are a large number of her staffers outside as well. Uh, neighbors, people that are Warren supporters that, that know that she lives here in the Cambridge area have come over to, to see if they could hear it straight from the senator's words herself. But again, we are waiting to see if Senator Warren leaves her home.
to go make a visit to some of her staffers and then presumably coming back here or making her official announcement around 12.30 today. So again, we're, we're on watch here waiting to see if and when we can hear from the senator. Brian, I'll send it back to you in the studio.